So that's not a dumb question at all. In fact, it's actually a very good question. When we're looking at combating extremist groups, and racism is a form of extremism, we have two types of approaches to take. You have the tactical and the strategic approach. The tactical approach would be a call-out video that some creators make, or calling out a family member when they say something racist at dinner. It could also be the boots-on-the-ground people who are attending protests and counter-protests. And that is still a very important part of counter-extremism. But alone, it's not enough. That's when the strategic approach comes in. The strategic approach is knowing where the extremists gather, why they gather in those locations, what they discuss, what recruiting tactics they use, how do they identify themselves, and what is their true ideologies. We can use this knowledge to predict their behaviors. If we know the types of locations and the types of gatherings they like to do to spread their extremist message, we can predict where that's going to be before they announce it. If we know what their true ideologies are, we can understand what their recruiting tactics are going to be and develop an effective counter to those recruiting techniques that they use. If we know the ways that they identify themselves to each other, we know when they're gathering covertly, when they're holding one event to try to make it look like it has a good public image, but at the same time, it's really an event pushing their extremist ideology, we can catch that by their use of dog whistles. And knowing how to identify one group versus another, and what this group believes versus a different group, really works very well for those people who are talented enough to be able to reach out to one of those extremists, pull them out of those organizations, and help them reform. Because truly, the way you would approach that with a KKK member versus someone like in the Patriot Front would be completely different because while the groups have a lot of overlapping ideas, their main ideologies and goals are different. And ultimately, to win this fight against racism and extremism, we're going to need both tactical and strategic. Because knowledge without action is just a book sitting on a shelf. Nothing's going to change. The knowledge is there, but nothing's being done with it. And action without knowledge is just someone going out and swinging, and hopefully they make a connection. Effectively, the more we know, the better we fight.